So it is a quarter to 12 and we are headed to Port Canaveral. We're going on a seven night cruise on Norwegian Escape. We booked this cruise yesterday. <laughs> so um, Nothing like last minute. Yep, I feel like really, really anxious because we kind of scrambled to get packed and we're not checked in. And I know you just need your passport, or at least you should only need your passport, but it's just, we're not checked in. So it's a little nerve wracking, but yeah, we're headed to Port Canaveral now and total last minute. Okay, so we made it to the parking area. It's looking like for a seven night cruise, the total is, how much was that? I think 145 it was, something. $145. Uh, it's 12.30 now. And we're here. We're here, we just need to park. So no traffic at all. Terminal 10. Oh my gosh, all right. So it's 1.30, the check-in process was the longest that has ever been and we still haven't made it through. We're still waiting. We're still waiting because we checked in but they gave us the wrong room keys. So when it was time to scan the card, we noticed that the names on the card were different. So a guy from security stopped us and he told us it would take just like five minutes. So. All right. All right, so we're about to get on right now. See, back there? We're about to get on the ship. It's after 1.30, which means our rooms are ready. So we can drop our luggage off. We usually check our bags. This time we decided let's get here later and go right to our room and drop our luggage off. All right, we are boarding the ship. We're officially on the ship. Oh, another beautiful day in sunny Cape Canaveral, Florida. <laughs> we're going right to our room. Yeah. I think we're on deck five. We'll see. Deck five. Maybe. This is deck seven we're on right now. Oh, do we need to do the mustard drill thing? That we got? Um, let's go to our room first. Okay. All right, now we got to get on an elevator. We normally don't take elevators when we're on a cruise unless we got luggage. <laughs> so, normally we do the mustard drill first. Yeah. This time I just want to talk about First things first, you need a chicken address in the station in case of an emergency, okay? After that, you can have a break. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So this is where we go for mustard, but where do we go for ketchup? Ketchup? No, no. Oh, joking, joking. <laughs> this is our first look at Oceans. Yep, it is crowded, just like they said. They told us to go to deck 16. That's where I guess the buffet is. It's probably, I guess it's less crowded there. I doubt, I doubt it. 16 is the buffet. Everywhere is crowded at the moment because you have one time. Okay, so this is a full ship. We had, we had a great plan to get here later, which we never do. We figured we'll get here later, the state rooms will be ready, and we'll drop our stuff off in the state room. That did not happen. The state rooms were not ready. It's 2 o'clock and they are now ready. Um, but we had already ordered, we had all she hands, it was packed, so we are kind of in this little area here. State cruisers at this time, state rooms on deck 9 and 11 are also now ready. I repeat, yes, state rooms are located on deck 9 and 11. 
get out and see the two accommodations to relax and enjoy. We're just gonna split that just to get some things clean. So we entered on deck seven, which is where we are right now. We just split a burger at Oshi Hands. It was actually my first time having a burger on a cruise ship. I've never, have you ever had a burger on a cruise ship? I've had a burger on a cruise ship. I don't think I've ever had a burger no, on a cruise ship. You may not have. No, I don't think so. You get the healthier stuff. Well, it's not just that. It's because I like to eat things that I don't cook at home. It's like a burger I can have at home. But it was so good. We have our luggage and right here. It's a full ship, it's crowded. The elevator area is crowded. We're on deck five. We only have two flights to go down. We're not waiting at the elevator. We're gonna lug these things down these stairs. We will never do this again. Try to get on a cruise ship with our luggage. Never, right? We'll not, we'll not do this again. But now we have to go down these stairs. How are you doing? <laughs> you having fun yet? Not yet. Okay, you let me know when you're having fun. This is never happening again. This bringing luggage. <laughs> oh, right. There we are, fifty four twenty nine. Fifty four twenty nine. Okay, I don't know what all this is on there. <laughs> That's a lot of water there. What the heck? Okay, so... Well, we didn't know. order water. Okay, this is our huge state room that we got last minute. Let me this do a room tour. This might be a two-part video, Mindy. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, okay. Okay, so this is the room. This is an interior room. And we're done. This is it. Okay, I'm not sure why all of this water is here. We didn't order water. Um, I know sometimes we have like stuff in your refrigerator that is not complimentary, and you can ask them to remove it. But that is a lot of water. That's you have to ask them about that. There's twelve plates of water. There. And plus Just two up here. <laughs> Somebody right, must so have dehydrated before in here. Let me see. Okay, so there's two little end tables here. There's some storage on this side as well little cubby holes i remember that that's right and then on this side we have a blow dryer and a little storage, storage that isn't a that storage, storage just a oh that's just an ottoman this is, it's just an ottoman table. table yeah so you put this back on here oh they should have well, it goes here. that's usually storage oh okay okay so okay and then here we have a little refrigerator. And on this side is a little TV right in front of the bed. <laughs> wow, okay, and then the closet. Oh, it's a little closet in there and there's some creepy, some hangers up there. What else is up there? We got a little safe here. All right, let's check out this bathroom now. I know it's huge. Oh, there's a nice body mirror here. Oh, the bathroom's nice. It looks like probably a normal bathroom. I mean, you know, I mean, it's nice storage space, which is really, it's just trash, right? Oh, a little, a little more storage here. Actually, the shower is bigger in this it's, bathroom than it was in the, um, in the Independence. And also this sink is, is larger than mm -hmm. normal interior sinks. Mm -hmm. That's pretty large. And then there's four cups, towels, and then there's some hand soap there, liquid hand soap. And then over here we have, what is that? They didn't fill that body wash. That body wash is up to here. <laughs> um, body wash and shampoo. There we go. So that's, that's the tour of the bathroom. Oh, and then we have some more storage here. The other thing that I noticed is there are two bunk beds up here. So this room actually accommodates four people. Oh, that will be tight. <laughs> but yeah, four people. <laughs> Don't want to be in a room of this small with four people. 
<laughs> but I guess if the bed was um, two kids was there. split and yeah. Oh, you know what? They gave us a compass too. Or do they call it compass? Do they call it a freestyle? It's, it's Royal Caribbean that calls it a compass, right? But anyway, so I like to have hard copies of these because the Norwegian app doesn't always work. And, and you like to use your highlighter. Thing. And exactly, I like to <laughs> I like to highlight the activities. So yeah, so let's see what's open right now. We have the what is that? Garden buffet that's open. They're open till four. We're definitely gonna go up there. The buffet Danny is on deck sixteen. So we're definitely gonna go up there and see what they have. Okay. And also, there is no USB ports anywhere. So bring a USB. <laughs> so right now we're headed upstairs to Garden Cafe. They're open until four o'clock. So it's three o'clock right now and we're gonna see what they have. This is what I got at the buffet. This is uh, potatoes, chicken, green beans, and vegetables. <laughs> you got some coffee. I'm going to go up there and get some food. I just need to. It's day one. Day one is crazy. Um, but never again will we get here late. Never again. Never again. Whenever we cruise, we always get to the port fairly early, like before 11 o'clock usually. Before 11 o'clock, always actually. Yeah. And we decided to just, bring, we decided let's get there later. And by the time we get there, we'll eat something at O'Sheehan's and then our stateroom will be ready. Didn't happen like that. We just ended up <laughs> carrying luggage with us. So, yeah, I'd rather just get here early. Or get here really, really late. But then you miss the day. And I, yeah, I wouldn't want to get here late and then check yeah. in. I'll show you what they have at the buffet as much as I can. Okay, so for lunch, they have uh, carrots, uh, French beans, sauteed mushrooms, uh, smoked bourbon chicken. This is what we had. It was really good. Ratatouille vegetables, grilled fish with steamed vegetables. Hot roast brisket with mashed potatoes. That looks really good. Regular mashed potatoes. And then this is, what is this? I'm not sure what this is. This is steamed barbecue sauce. Hmm. Not sure. Here comes Mindy with her food. What did you find good? What is that? Brittle. You're gonna like it. Brittle? Yeah, it's like, you know, like peanut brittle? Yeah. You're gonna like it. And I don't know what this is. It's curry of some sort. Rice, of it's course. Like I don't curry have chicken. my rice. Don't remember what that was. You didn't find a shrimp? They were, they're putting everything away. Oh. They're putting everything away. I think they're, I don't know. They're just you snooze, you lose, maybe. So if you want anything, I will go now. Okay. I'll be back. Seated right now. Window seat, yay. So, what to eat? What to eat? Let me show you what's on the menu. Let's see. So, Norwegian has a crab cake, shrimp cake, bruschetta, ravioli, seafood gumbo, cream of cauliflower, French onion soup, Greek salad, baby spinach salad. Ooh, let's see.
So we just got done with uh, dinner. I had I had a, a shrimp cake, I believe is what it was. It wasn't very good, but that's fine. <laughs> There's food all over. And I had um, French onion soup, but mine was pretty good. Your French onion soup was really good. And then for dinner, I had tilapia. Under the tilapia, there was quinoa. It wasn't good. It was like a salt bomb. I couldn't eat it. But <laughs> <laughs> Danny had rotisserie chicken. His rotisserie chicken was my good. My chicken, I just mashed potatoes and broccoli. It was all good. Yep, it was good. And then for dessert, I had strawberry shortcake. You had a chocolate lava cake. Mm -hmm. They were both good. So I had a good meal. Oh, you split you your had... meal with me. It's fine. So there is a comedy show going on, or actually starting at seven o'clock. And the line. They already started forming a line at 6.15, so I'm not gonna wait in line 45 minutes, but I'm hoping to catch it because I love to go to all of the shows on cruise ships. That's one of the main reasons, or one, it's one of the main things that I look forward to when cruising, the shows. Yeah. That's, that's I look forward to the and comedy Norwegian shows and any show, I never miss shows, them. Yeah. Norwegian has really good shows. Mm -hmm. So I I keep getting cruise, cruise lines mixed up because we always cruise with Royal Caribbean and I don't think Norwegian has formal night. We wore formal clothes for two nights and I don't think they have that. I'm thinking, wait, hold on, Norwegian's freestyle dining. Mm -hmm. I'm really liking Norwegian. I'm, I'm, the more I cruise with Norwegian, the more I like it. Um, it's just that we have always cruised with Royal Caribbean. And you know, you get used to whatever cruise line it is that you started with. Um, but every, it seems like Norwegian, I'm liking Norwegian. I like the vibe of Norwegian and we're headed to Headliners Comedy Show. It begins in 15 minutes. People started lining up like at 6.15 and it starts at 7. So we'll see if we can even get in. Hopefully we can because I don't like to miss shows. So the doors are open. Can we get a seat? Oh, we can. See, there was no need to wait. All right, so we just got done with the comedy show. Um, it was a family-friendly comedy show, which I like. Um, the comedian was really funny. Yeah, he was good. Yeah, he was good, right? I like them. That's pretty good. I love they're to watch. Always, yeah. yeah, they're always good. What is going on here? You got another one at 11 o'clock. What's going on here? What's going on here? What is this? Windjammer and see what they have up there because why not? So what do you do on a cruise? You eat. You eat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get our 12 meals in today. <laughs> All right. Here, this is roasted potatoes, steamed vegetables, blackened fish with tropical salsa that looks good, chicken cacciatore, and some pasta here with sauce. All right, so we're here at the Garden Cafe. We got our food. It's what time is it? It's like 8 30. 
It's 8.30, it's been a long day, but a fun day. I just can't wait to get in the shower and just clean all the grime off, of, <laughs> right? Don't you feel that way? Yeah. And just start fresh tomorrow because today was truly exhausting, but... First day's always like that. Yeah, so it was really we exhausting. just got a little sampler platter to see how it was. Yeah. Pasta and rice and chicken and just some onions. <laughs> And then I got, so I have a little pizza here with mushrooms. That's a roasted potato, broccoli, hummus, and I don't, think, <laughs> I don't think that I will ever want to come on a ship late again. I'd rather just, because the day's gonna be a wash regardless. I mean, in how you feel, at least how I feel, like drained the whole day. Um, whether I get here early or get here late, so I might as well just get here early and make the most out of it and getting here late is just right. I just feel it feels like we really got a late start and I'm just as exhausted <laughs> but it's fun it's been fun so, so the food was pretty good it was, the pizza was the pizza was really good what did you think of your food my uh, pasta was very salty it was really salty I mean like extremely salty but I think it may have been a mistake I don't know I'll try it again another time but, um, but no, everything else was, was good. Yeah, the food seems to be a bit salty. Like my tilapia at dinner, I could not eat it. I, I hate to waste food, but it was a salt bomb. I was like, oh my gosh, it's so salty. It was like, I was like, when I saw that the tilapia came with quinoa, I was excited. I was like, oh, a nice healthy meal. But I couldn't eat it. But this is just quinoa. Oh no, I don't we'll care. We'll see. There's food all over. I don't yeah. care. It's not a big deal if your food is nasty. Um, but <laughs> this fruit, I can't eat it. This fruit, this fruit, the fruit, the fruit tastes like dirt. Dirt? <laughs> it's like dirt. Yeah, the cantaloupe tasted like dirt. That, <clears throat> that, um, And this, watermelon, uh, watermelon is a little bit soggy. Well, I'm surprised you picked it up. <laughs> That's not good. No, I, I picked it up and I picked it up like five at the same time with the tongue. Oh, oh, So yeah. that happened to be one of them. Yeah, but <laughs> the pineapple was good. So I ate the pineapple. Yeah. But yeah, the other... The pineapple and some of the watermelon, I guess, but some of it is suspect. Suspect? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... But overall, the food was, I would say, decent. But well, this is just day one. We didn't try everything, so I mean, it, it's... That burger at Oshihan's was really good. Yeah, that was good. the best thing. That was so good. Yeah. I, everything else so far was eh, and Nor Norwegian usually has really good food. Yeah, but so. this, yeah, so we'll see. I mean, uh, day one, you can't judge it by that, but we'll... Day six, if the food is not great, <laughs> then that might be a problem. This is the library. This is where you go if you want somewhere to be quiet. You can play checkers, black gammon, Yahtzee. Of course, they got books. Somebody left some grapes. <laughs> Anything good? Yeah, I actually did find a book that I would like to read, but look. Everything is locked. I didn't bring a book because I usually, when I come on a cruise, I usually come to the library and pick up a book. But they locked them. Well, well you got to come, I guess, during certain hours to go? Yeah, they have hours here. They close at 7, and then you have to return the book um, by 6 o'clock. Final book return. I guess the last day of the cruise. But anyway, yeah, they have this book here that I would like to read. It's, um, You, you Got Anything Stronger by Gabrielle Union. Because I read her, I guess her first book. I'm assuming it's her first book, but I think it's like you got more wine or got more wine or something with mm -hmm. wine. It was really good. Um, so I would pick, probably pick that book up. Um, He's gonna come during business hours. So it's 10.30 and we are turning in for the night. This is the first time we 
have been on a cruise ship and have not unpacked. This is like, we have not unpacked, not cleaned the room. We usually wipe the room down with um, Lysol wipes. We didn't do that. Uh, what I did want to say before I forget is another reason why I will never get to a port late is because we were not able to find parking. We kept circling the garage and there wasn't any parking. And we got here at what time? It was like between 12.30 and 1, something like that. I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, we weren't able to find parking. And when we finally reached the top, there was like only a few spots. And it was only like, I don't even remember what time it was. I said it earlier in the video, but so. It wasn't we, that late. It, it, it wasn't that late. So we, we both got nervous when we got to the top um, of the garage. There was, but, yeah, there was nothing, not one spot, like every single spot was I taken know. except for the top. And even the top didn't have very many. Yeah. Just a handful. So, yeah, we were so extremely exhausted. Sure they had surface parking down, down there you know, after that. But I, mean, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I'm not sure what they do in cases like that.